a lot of universities have the same thing to offer. Like they have a good program, they have good labs, and they have good research. So it really didn't come down to the labs and the research because I, a lot of schools have that. It came down to the happiness level of the graduate students that I met. At CU, the students had fun. And at CU, we went on a hike during my visit. We didn't leave the laboratories once for my other visits at other schools. So I just knew that it was more of a balanced lifestyle here. You do a lot of work, and you work hard. And you play hard, too. So you're also hiking. You're also skiing. The moment my taxi pulled up in Boulder and I saw the flat irons, I knew that that's what I wanted to look out the window at when I'm doing an experiment. So it's just really pretty. I just knew I'd be happy here. Uh, Veronica Bierbaum's lab um, does quite a few different applications of ions and neutral reactions. I personally am studying reactions that might pertain to the interstellar medium or just the area between stars and space. I think I've learned the most from working with Veronica and working with the other graduate students in this group doing research. And I think that that's what every graduate student will tell you, is you learn the most when you're struggling outside of the classroom environment. Up until I reached graduate school, I was never challenged to the extent that I was here at CU. It's a great school. One of the reasons I came here was it was a well-rounded experience. It's not all about the research. The research is a huge part of your life as a graduate student, but a huge part of your life should also be education if you want to go into academia or if you want to teach in the future. It should also be outreach simply because you are part of a university and a university should always be involved in outreach.